thoroughly enjoyed it. It's one of the, the highlight of my conference. How do you actually generate profitable ideas that ultimately are going to drive your business forward? And there's two things that you've got to think about. The first one is you've got to build a culture. You've got to have a culture in place that stimulates creativity, that allows people to come up with ideas without fear of ridicule, without fear of failure. But you've also got to have in place a process because that process has to direct creativity. It has to direct the ideas so that they actually have a place in the world. So they're not just random ideas that really don't serve any purpose for anybody. Keep your hands up if you can. Add to that. If you don't have it, you've got two. Both hands, please. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Who's got an iPhone as well? Look at that. Don't you find that amazing? See, because Apple, uh, Apple is a, a really good example of an organisation that has enterprised creativity. Oh, did you know you can get the entire Britney Spears Greatest Hits collection on a four gig iPod and still have four gig of memory left? <laughs> <laughs> but only 17% of people say that they're utilising creativity, because you don't have to be an Apple, you don't have to be an IBM. You know, any organisation, no matter how big, how small, can and should be enterprising creativity. It was brilliant, it was really good and very creative and I'm happy to get some ideas flowing. See, one of the really important things about creativity is an element of play, because play is all about finding things and discovering things. If you think of a kid with an empty box, you know, an empty box to a child is not an empty box. It's a rocket ship. It's a house, you know. Kids are great at playing. And if you think back to George Land's experiment, you know, someone in the room would have said, oh, kids are just really good at playing, at imagining, at doing stuff. And play also rises up. We'll talk about this in just a second. Play also gets you in a, in a happier state of mind. So, one, two, three. Now, very quickly, while you're in that state of mind, I want you to blue sky an idea. I want you to tell the person next to you one thing you are going to do in the next fortnight that will change your cultural organisational structure. One thing you can do that will make you a more creative organisation based on something we've spoken about or maybe something that's just popped into your head. I don't care. Very quickly, tell the person next to you one thing you are going to do. I love the session, absolutely fantastic, and I love the fact that you sat on Oprah's lap. The helicopters are the guys who, when there's a challenge or they're trying to find a solution to something, they hover really far away from the problem. They can see it holistically, they can see, see it in its entirety, they get the big picture, the global perspective, if you like. But they can also fly in really close, and they can look at all the minute detail and how each part relates to the other parts around it. Then what they can do is they can fly over here and look at it from this angle, and they can fly over there and look at it from that angle. And because they're able to see it from so many different perspectives, they're able to come up with more possibilities. They're opening their minds to greater possibilities and, and ideas. Good ideas come from possibilities, right? But then there are people, of course, who think like vending machines. And the vending machines are these people, when there's a challenge or they've got to work out a solution to something, they grab a coin out of their pocket and they stick it in the vending machine they push the buttons and out the bottom comes the same old solution, maybe just wrapped up a little bit differently. Right? That's adequate stuff. That's coming up with adequate ideas. Helicopter thinking, or people who are like helicopters, come up with brilliant ideas. They're the ideas that floor you. Why? Because they take the time to see things from their full perspective. So what we need to do in our businesses is allow our people to be helicopters, not vending machines. Because vending machines will give you adequate ideas, and in today's world, adequate won't cut it. It won't. You can come up with adequate ideas all day long, but your competitors are coming up with better ones. Uh, I thought the uh, session was um, uplifting and inspiring uh, and uh, very informative. Oh, my mind is so clear now. All my ideas are going to come to fruition, and we're going to kick out.